Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video. And today we have more RPG goodness. This time it's tricks and traps, hundreds of perilous pieces, cut out tokens of terrain, treasure, tricks and traps for any RPG system. Brought to you by the good people at Loke Battle Mats. Tokens for RPG Battle Maps. Attention adventurers, you, are you ready to take your RPG maps to the next level? With our Tricks and Traps tokens, your maps will come alive and tell stories of their own. From trees, rocks, and secret entrances to spike bits and dramatic explosions, you can create whatever you can imagine. This box includes 225 cutout tokens to customize your maps and create unique adventures for your players. Each double-sided token features terrain, traps, or treasure to add a complexity and danger to your encounter area. With so many options, each encounter can truly be unique. Adventure awaits you and your party. This box contains a whole bunch of stuff. Here's a couple of pictures of things that you find inside that box. And of course, it's brought to you by Loke Battle Mats. It's compatible with 5e, which means it's compatible with the 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what kind of goodness we have on the inside. So once again, these are individual sheets that you're going to cut out. You can use an X-Acto blade. You can use a pair of scissors, however you want to do it. And these are things that you cut out and you just put them on top of your battle mat. It's really that simple. So you have your front and back. You got a whole mess of these. Whole lot of sheets here. So I'm going to show you them as we go along here. So here's your first sheet of counters. There you go. All kinds of different things from a piano to a harp, some kind of blades, table, rug, some gold pieces, some magic. We'll flip it over, you got different stuff on each side. So you have your closed caskets. So here you have your open, you got your closed, you got your bare rugs. Uh, and you flip the rugs over, it's monsters gonna attack you. There you go, see that? Your closed piano, open piano, different things like that. Some bushes, some holes. Ah, see these could be some traps, yep, there's a trap because you step on the rug, ah, you fall through it, see? Over here, yeah, same thing. You walk, try to walk in that portal, whoop, you fall into something, you fall into a pit. It has fire, has electric in it, has gas cloud implodes. So those are traps. All right, that's cool. That's one counter page. All right, you got some sort of lettering. Looks like bridges. Ah, you gotta walk through without being cut. Very cool. Drawbridge, you gotta go over it. So it's, and then when you flip it over, let's see what happens. Ah, these are traps again. You're walking here, whoop, it flips over. Everything's fine. You walk through here, all of a sudden the sides fall out. And you got the drawbridge. You start walking, it's an illusion. Boom, all of a sudden this stuff all pops up. Same thing here, stepping on different stones. And again, it could be just a regular walkway as well. You decide how you're going to use it. So there you go. There's your second one. And we got this one here. We got beds, desks, tables, pile of weapons. We've got a hearth over here. We've got an iron. Somebody's going to be making some stuff for you. A table of food. A regular table, then on the other side, clean tables, some fences, broken chairs, broken desks, stuff on fire, something with a net on it. Whoop, lay down in that bed. Oh, I'm gonna go here for a rest. Bloop, all the pogo sticks pop out. Pogi sticks, saw blade underneath that cuts you in the bed. When we're trying to this bed electrocute you, monster jumps out of the bed. Spikes, uh, some, some spikes come up out of it. So that's really cool. 
you gotta be careful where you lay your head at night time. Everything looks so unassuming, but at the same time. All right, so we'll start this way. We'll start off with just the normal rooms that you're walking into. Some of the rooms can have traps in them, right? So we've come to learn that this box has lots of tricks and traps inside it. So let's see what happens when we flip it over. Got a pool of acid, it looks like. Not sure what that is. Bunch of spikes in the hallway. Got webbing, Some more webbing, all kinds of webbing. You got, a, you got a, an axe that swings back and forth and clips you as you're walking by. So again, one side is this way and you flip it over, boom, that's in there. The trap has been laid for unsuspecting people coming into you, unsuspecting party coming into your scenario. So there you go. Okay, and have more pieces of land. Walking through into the room, checking out the rooms parts of the hallway again this can go you cut this out and you lay this anywhere so if you have a if you have a map that has um if you have a map that has a room in it let's see if i can get a room here real quick all right let's use i'll just use this as an example again this is another little battle map now you cut this piece out here and you put that piece right in that place there oh put it right in the center so it looks like it's some sort of design did your people walk along the carpet or did they walk away from it if they walk on it boom the trap is sprung so you can so you can use that type of idea seeing how much people are paying attention so there you go so you flip it over again or you have what you call you have pieces of broken all kinds of broken stuff from ruined cities. Okay, all kinds of stuff like that too. So some, either side you want to use. So one side you can use the nice clean, or you got some stuff in your way, some difficult terrain that they, uh, terrain that they have to work over or walk over. La di da, we're just walking along inside this room here, or this room. Then what happens? There's a giant pit. A pit with spikes in it that you fall into. Some more traps. Very cool. Ooh, I like that. See so, yeah, again. More hallways. That you're walking in. Again, you cut along the lines as indicated. You cut along the lines, cut in between. And then you just take this and you lay it on top of a map. That's how you do it. So you flip it over. Thing shoots a gaseous cloud or flames at you like this one is, or electricity goes off, fire, some spikes come out of the thing. Or they find a pile of weapons laying in the middle of the floor. So it's totally up to your imagination, but there's some more. Again. Each side has something really cool to offer to you. Very, very cool. And then the other side, again, some spinny things that cut you up, fall into fire. Got a fire pit here. You fall in, how are you gonna climb out without getting cut on these edges here? Pit you fall into, how are you gonna get out? And this thing's gonna come up and maybe crush on top of you. Again, looks like these are rows of just you wanna go investigate the shelves. As you go to look at the shelves, these spikes come out. Gonna go to those barrels over there. What's underneath those barrels? Uh oh, the whole floor caves in. You wind up in a different area. Again, so the way you use these, it's totally up to you. So you use it on this side, you spring the trap, or you don't have to spring the trap. Again, some more. 
again, they're wet, dry erase. So if you sit here, it has a laminate, it's laminated. So if you hit here with a dry erase marker, you can erase it right off. It's wet, you know, wet, wet a tissue and it comes, it comes right off there. You got to trap doors. You want to open them or not? It's your, deci your decision. You open them up, go down. Look at this, under the floor here, you found some gold, you found some gold. Uh, you fell into a pit. So there you have it. Okay, some more. Shaped like an intersection, four-way intersection. Some walkways, again, some more walkways. You flip them over. You got some traps. You got some fire here. You got to walk across this rickety pieces of wood, or you're gonna fall into an acid bath. You got electric electricity that's now currents that are going across. Going down, maybe into the sewers. Again, you want to avoid these, or you're gonna get cut. Got some spikes at the end of the pit. Got some moving saw blades. Got to make your way around them without hitting them acid pool a big monster comes out of the ground and you got a statue there so yeah statue inside statue that's really cool though i really like that one all right put that there oh look we went into a treasure room oh look at all these boxes what oh my oh my how much treasure can we carry my God, how much stuff did we just come across and how much stuff did we find? Well, before you start counting your riches, let's see what else happens to you. Whoops. Things that are on fire. Broken. So maybe some magic is coming out of it. Got gold, got gold, yes. Got a creature coming out of it. Going over here, nothing but some junk inside it. That's really cool too. So those are your lots and lots of crates that you have there. Now again, here comes some of just your weapons, your targets, your bales, your bales of hay. You got some fences here. Looks like a cart. Some old skeletal remains. Different things. Some more packages. Some boxes. Some equipment. Trough for water for your horses. Again, some coffins. Flip them over. Got different stuff for your adventure. Got some plants for food. Got some holes. Got some stands. Some stuff that's on fire. Something lit them on fire. There you go. That's this one here. And then you got this one here. Going to a campsite, you need some tents, you need some sleeping bags, your fire. Maybe you need a cooking a place where you cook your food, a wagon to carry it all in. You need a boat. These are all different kinds of doors. These are broken doors. The doors have been removed. Broken doors, open doors, no door, Again, double doors. Anything in your life right now? Looks like maybe it got burned or whatever. Oh, it's all stuff that's been destroyed. Some graves have been dug out. Again, stuff that's on fire, broken. So lots of different things there. All right. We may have some wooded areas. Again, you could keep this closed and have some people walking up and down the paths if you want, or you cut them out in the style that they have here. So again, if I have a little map that has nothing on it. So I'll give you that example. If I have another map and have nothing on it, boom, now I put that tree right in the middle. Your venture's beginning. Just line up with the lines, boom. There it is. Okay. Or if you have an empty, let's see if I have one. Yeah, an empty area like this. I'll put some grass in the middle of it like that. I could do that. Boom. Plop it right in there. And it fits right in there. Again, this is a local battle mat. It's small. 
it's the book little book of battle mats so they have that there as well so one side is this again it could be a trap it could be a bunch of different things again every time you use it and there's a trap in the bottom it doesn't have to technically be a trap file so you can just be using it for the one side as well so that's really cool but that's cool i do like that that's awesome okay put some trees on this side and then we got some more again some terrain some rocks grass around it looks like a uh, stone wall of some sort or you know natural wall of a mountain or you have to cross this to get across you know just walking around you cross that another pit there but looks like part of an abandoned castle you can walk in oh smaller forest areas you know forest areas do you walk through them do you walk around them that's the question if you walk through them well maybe you find something inside and that just looks like a forested area now you could technically you could keep this piece together when you have to cut it out just use it as walking paths for people if not just cut it out boom you put it on a regular plain map that doesn't have any terrain on it Rather than packing up all your terrain and stuff, you bring these with it, little cutouts, makes it a lot easier sometimes. You don't have to lug everything. Um, again, more trees. Again, some more terrain here, some more little stone walls. You know, got some roots there, some trees that were cut down. All right, you got a. Uh, Secret, uh, secret passage right there. Looks like there's a box in there and a stairwell going down. So again, the side that you use, totally up to you and totally up to your adventure, how you want to portray and how you want to do it. So again, some smaller areas of bushes. Some rock piles, some rock formations pools of water, come over, do more stuff. Not sure what these are. Could be a glowing thing around them. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what that is, to be very honest with you. And again, even though this is made primarily for uh, fancy RPGs, you could use this for anything. You could use this for Starfinder, you could use it for Mothership, you could use it for um, any type of activity uh, RPG that you want to use, or even from doing a game with, mi with miniatures, 28 millimeter miniatures, and they go use, uh, you know, the one inch squares for their bases. Boom, you can use this for anything. It does, you don't need to use it just because it says it's for fantasy, doesn't mean you have to use it for fantasy. But anyway, there's that sheet there again, and this sheet here again. The fire always just pops so much on camera. Love it. All right, cool. All right, moving on. Got that. And then, uh, so we got this, so you take a look at it again up close real quick. There you go. Some more grass, some water. Fallen tree. Okay, some difficult terrain. And a little tree that's been cut down over here and make a little campsite by the fallen by the missing tree the missing tree of course there's a pit the cave underneath the tree maybe somebody living in there a tree on fire fallen branch on fire i should say yeah. there you go that's that one and they also provide you with a nice little area Looks like possibly an inn that you would go to where you can get to pick up to get some food over here. Got like a cooking area station there. Got a bar right here and some tables again. You flip that over. Yep. You're going to go and investigate it. You're going to walk up here. So you put this piece down first because people don't know what they're walking into. And you surprise them and say, boom, all right. Or I 
presentation. You go, okay, boom. Guys are just coming in. So, and again, how you lay this, how you lay it down, it make, it's totally up to you. So you got that one there. You got this here. One big massive room that has two other rooms, two side rooms to it. Again, you can cut those out and put them in here and put a square in here and then people don't know whether it's uh, what's going on in the room. Flip that over. This looks like walls of a castle. Building on the inside, right? Here's your opening. There you go. That's also included. Got some rooms here. Four rooms. And so they're four separate buildings. So you cut those out. You got you see the rooms again. You're going to explore it. Boom. So example. If you just have a normal map. Or just have a normal map. You cut that out, you put that on top. You're walking up to it. Do you want to go investigate? Yes or no? All right. So here, let's just hypothetically, I'm sorry, let's hypothetically say this one here, make it easier so you can see the door there. So you say you're going to investigate, you come up, you come up to a building. Are you going to investigate that building? If they say no, you keep it face down. If they say yes, oh, darn, had the wrong side. So again, you had the roof sitting here outside. You come up to a, a building. Do you want to investigate? Yes. You pop it open and you got whatever inside. You walk in and there's what's inside the room. There you have it. So you understand how to use it. Good. Excellent. Again, that map is not included. That's uh, something from a Pathfinder set. set. So that is not um, included with this little battle map. But again, here. Got a couple of roofs again. There's a case going up or going down, depending how you want to look at it. And that's what's inside the building. Same thing here. The roof, is the roof gets is destroyed somehow, and then when you're walking through, there's really nothing in there. The building got burned out inside there. So you go ahead and investigate, there's really nothing in there. All right, so there's some more roofs and buildings that you can come across. Again, some more roofs, so you have some more towns. Or I should say more buildings inside of town. Lay them out however you want. Again, with that map there, you can go, hey, you know, I'm coming across, I came across this, uh, this area here. Can I go in? Sure. Go in, boom, that's what you find. Again, a page like this, you can either keep it together this way, very narrow walls. Obviously, characters would have a hard time getting through there. So you're better off, again, cutting it along here and taking out. And you just play it out, put it on the map. You flip it over and, you know, adds to your adventure. So that's more rooms, some more rooms, even more rooms. So, again, this is all used to just enhance your gameplay. So do you have to have it? Of course, you don't have to have it. But again, it's good to enhance your games. Keep your players interested. You got a statue here. You got, uh, you got a, a fountain right there. You got this. You got that. Again, flip it over. Destroy it on the inside. Or you can use them as destroyed ruins. Again, everything's destroyed. So. So there you have it. So this is everything that's included. And this concludes our unboxing of Tricks and Traps, Hundreds of Perilous Pieces. Cut out tokens of terrain, treasure, tricks, and traps for any type of RPG. Brought to you by the great people over at Loke Battle Maths. As always, thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing video. It's truly appreciated. If you enjoyed this video, you can always give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Also, you can hit that subscribe button. This way you're kept up to date as to any time we release new content to the page. As always, thank you so much for joining us. Be safe, be well. Enjoy the remainder of your day. And we'll catch you on the next unboxing video.